And I'm here with the owner and CEO of SFT MMA, Mr. David Hudson. Wanted to give you, first off, big thank you for doing a show in the States because we know how hard it is to do an event here with the COVID. It's so hard in the first place just to put the card together, but then keeping the card together is even more difficult. We know you've had nothing but headaches now for about two months and stress. Thank you, David Hudson. It wasn't easy, not just, just, not just the fights, but the, the staff, the crew to build the place. We kept losing people left and right. But I think that the lighting that the guy was got sick. Every morning when my phone would, wake, would ring, it was always bad news. We're here, we, we got, I think, nine fights all together. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu saved us. I know you have big plans for the United States. Um, you had like five fights planned right before COVID hit us and you execute. You're not one of these promoters who says, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and nothing happens. You execute as evidenced by your show in Brazil, now the number one promotion in Brazil, and the production values equaling anything we have here in the States. You watch an SFT MMA, it's right up there with the top two shows, and you're gonna bring that here, and you're very serious about this. Yeah, I and mean, this is not representative of what SFT is. This is the coronavirus hitting us strong. That our debut was supposed to be the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. 5,000 people, Brazil versus USA. We're going to bring 10 fighters with the corners, the announcer and uh, the matchmaker. We are the first uh, promotion in Brazil to sign fighters to exclusive deals. We already planned uh, Miami, Mexico, then Pacific, Rio de Janeiro. We were supposed to travel a lot this year. For everyone who's watching us on Fight.TV, anyone who's watching us on United Fight Alliance, NBC Sportsnet, CW, ABC affiliates all across the country, go to sftmma.com. He's serious about this. He's going to be doing a lot of shows. 